In this problem, we're told the infamous chicken is dashing towards home plate with a speed of 5.2 meters per second when he decides to hit the dirt. The chicken slides for 1.2 seconds, just reaching the plate as he stops. Safe, of course. A, what are the magnitude and direction of the chicken's acceleration? And B, how far did the chicken slide? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on, right? So we have this chicken. Its initial velocity is going to be 5.7 meters per second, right? And at this point, he's going to slide, right? He's going to slide all the way to home plate. And this is going to take 1.2 seconds, right? And we know the point he reaches home plate, his velocity, or he's going to stop, right? So he's going to be in, at rest, meaning his velocity is going to be 0 meters per second, right? So this is basically what's going on here. And so for A and B, right, for A, what we're trying to find is the acceleration, right? And uh, B, we're trying to find how far he slid, right? So first you want to do is just write out the given. So which kinematic variables are we given, right? Because we're going to be using kinematics to solve for this, right? So we're given V sub 0, the initial velocity, which is 5.7 meters per second. We're given uh, the final velocity, V, which is 0 meters per second, right? Because at the end of the interval, he's going to be at rest. And then we're given the time this is going to take, which is 1.2 seconds. And so what are we solving for? So for A, we're going to be solving for the acceleration. So A equals question mark, we'll say. And then how far did the chicken slide is the, uh, what we're trying to find for B. So delta x is basically the change in position or the distance something travels. So we'll say delta x equals question mark because that's what we're also trying to solve for. So let's go ahead and just start with A. So if you look at the kinematic equations here, which equation should we use to solve for A? Right. So we're given V sub 0, we're given V, we're given T. So if you look at the equations, uh, two, for, uh, 2 through 4, they all contain delta x. So we're not going to use those. And if you look at uh, number 1, it contains V, which we have, V sub 0, which we also have, and then t. So we can go ahead and solve for a since it's the only variable. So we're going to be using v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. So let's just go ahead and plug in, right? Because they're all the correct units, so we can just plug in and solve for a. So we know v is 0, which equals v sub 0, which is 5.7, plus a, which is what we're solving for, so we just leave it as a, times t. So t is just 1.2. So if we want to solve for a, we can minus 5.7 to the other side. And you'll get minus 5.7a equals 1.2. Or sorry, minus 5.7 equals 1.2a. Sorry about that. And then you can just divide by 1.2, right? All we're doing is using algebra to solve for a. And so you're going to get a equals minus 5.7 divided by 1.2. And when you do that, you'll get a equals minus 4.75. And then the units are meters per second squared. And so what they're asking for a is, right, this is the acceleration uh, that we found. But they're asking for the magnitude and direction. So what do each of these indicate? So the magnitude, when they ever say the magnitude, you just take your acceleration and take the absolute value of it. So for the magnitude, it's 4.75 meters per second squared. And then the direction, what direction is this acceleration being applied? So notice it's negative, meaning it's going to be in the opposite direction that the thing is traveling, right? They're going to be slowing down, which makes sense, right? Because he goes from traveling at some speed to zero, meaning he slows down. So you would say 4.75 meters per second squared. And then the direction is opposite the direction he's traveling because he's slowing down. So you could say opposite to the plate or, um, right? So just, I'll just say opposite to the plate. To the plate or just behind him essentially or the other way, right? So 4.75 meters per second squared opposite to the plate. That's going to be the magnitude and direction of the acceleration. So this is your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So for B, what we're trying to do is find how far did the chicken slide, right? So now we're solving for delta X. So now we have A, which is 4.7. Uh, or minus 4.75 meters per second squared, right? So let's go ahead and solve for delta x. So you can use any equation as long as it contains delta x because we have every other variable now. Uh, the one I'm going to use is this one right here because I think it's the easiest. So delta x equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So if we want to solve for delta x. All I have to do is just plug in our numbers. So v sub 0 is uh, 5.7 times how long it takes, which is 1.2 seconds, plus 1 half times a. The acceleration is what we solved for in the last problem, minus 4.75. And the reason we're using this one is, and not the magnitude is because this is the actual acceleration uh, for this interval, but the magnitude is just something separate, basically. Uh, but yeah, so minus 4.75 times t, which is 1.2, and then squared. So plugging this in, 5.7 times 1.2 plus uh, 1 half times minus... 4.75 times 1.2 squared. And when you do this, you're going to get delta x equals 3.42. And then this is going to be in meters, right? Because we're measuring a distance. So delta x equals 3.42 meters. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be uh, how far the chicken slides or it's changing its position, essentially. 
So yeah, 3.42 meters is your answer to B. Uh, this is your answer to A. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.